Today I have the pleasure of talking to Frank Bass over at Canada Cobalt Works. How are you today? Wonderful, Tracy. Thanks for having me. I know you already told me you don't want to talk about the coronavirus here at PDAC, but the coronavirus is actually getting all of us to look at the cr critical material supply chain. Yeah. And so we believe that there's going to be an increased interest, or at least our experts are telling this, of any battery material, especially critical materials like cobalt. Yeah. Do you agree with us? No, I agree with that. Actually, it's a little more complex than most people are aware of it. Uh, when I really look at it, cobalt is actually the new oil of going forward. Eh? Without cobalt, none of these batteries really work well. Eh? When people are trying to replace cobalt. They're trying to lower the cobalt grade. They're putting some nickel into it, some manganese. But the reality is, you know, we were in Japan. We talked to Nissan. It was very simple. The more cobalt, the more range, the better quality vehicle you have. Eh? So cobalt is actually going to be the new oil going forward. Eh? Okay, fantastic. We love it. That's a great headline. Cobalt, the new oil. So tell us about your most recent results. So what we've done is, uh, we actually, the original hole we drilled was 2008, and actually we never took it seriously. It was a pretty spectacular hole. Lots of silver, lots of cobalt, lots of nickel. So we, uh, late last year, we decided to uh, put up what we call a downhole camera. The picture cost me $26,000, black and white. You think for 26 grand, you get a color picture. But it gave us the orientation of the structure. Then we went down the same hole, wedged it, and we hit two wedges. One was 50,000 ounces, 50,000 grams per ton silver. The other wedge was 70,000 grams, plus very high numbers for cobalt, very high numbers for nickel. So now what we're doing is we're actually going to go down hole geophysics, and we're looking at how big this thing is. So, you know, we think we hit more than one structure. It could be three structures. Uh, so within that little envelope that we drilled, we think we already hit 1.2 million ounces of silver, not including the cobalt, not including the nickel. Eh? So something massive is there. Uh, you know, if it looks good, we're going to try to, you know, we already talked to a mining contract. We would like to put a ramp down. And, you know, we acquired a facility that can process our, our material. So, you know, all in all, it, it looking like something quite significant could be there. Silver, copper, nickel, all technology metals. Cobalt, big cobalt numbers. And so what should we anticipate over the next quarter or two? I think, uh, you know, we're getting results by the hour from the downhole geophysics because the guys are there right now. Uh, I think we hit some structures already. And more than likely, we'll try to drill those if they look good. Uh, even if they don't look good, we still want to put a ramp down. And I, I think right now, you know, you, you look at a 1.2 million ounces of silver, it's like $20 million of silver in a very small area. The ramp is about $6 million. I mean, it's worth putting the ramp down. And of course, in a cobalt camp, you got to go underground to find stuff. Well, Frank, as always, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Welcome. Thanks a lot. Always a pleasure.